What am I doing? And yes, that is cheesy saxophone music playing to make sure it's crystal clear that she is now an object of desire, even while in suspended animation. To add insult to injury, Fox is now using her magical staff to fight his way through the game to save her. The brief intro sequence accompanying many classic arcade games tends to reinforce the framing of women as a possession that's been stolen from the protagonist. The trope quickly became the go-to motivational hook for developers as it provided an easy way to tap into adolescent male power fantasies in order to sell more games to young straight boys and men. Throughout the 80s and 90s, the trope became so prevalent that it would be nearly impossible to mention them all. There were literally hundreds of examples showing up in platformers, side-scrolling beat-em-ups, first-person shooters, and role-playing games alike. Zelda has never been the star in her own adventure. I would like to extend a big thank you to all of my backers on Kickstarter who have continued to support me and helped make this video series a reality.